right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina Wieners and my good buddy Adato. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's gonna be a lot of fun because we're gonna be installing a Bren flash on this bike and we're gonna be finishing putting it all back together. So by the end of this episode, this bike is gonna be in rideable form. And we're also gonna start it up and see if it shoots some flames. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. All right, so the video you guys missed, which was a Patreon only video, in which not only are they entered to win these bikes, they also get exclusive videos just for Patreon, just to show our appreciation for them supporting the projects. Um, we basically started putting the bike all back together again. All we have left to do are the two belly pans. Um, we weren't able to finish this because these parts we had to actually epoxy on, so we needed to let them uh, wait, or uh, what's it called? Cure. Cure, thank you. I was gonna say dry, but that works. Um, so we did the whole bike back together, and then we actually did um, uh, pull the ECU um, data off and send it out to Bren, because today we're gonna be flashing the bike. We have to download the Bren. Bren has to send you a flash and all that. So um, we did quite a bit in that video, but now we're all ready for the Bren flash, which I'm super excited for, because now the fueling and all that's gonna be correct. So Tina Wieners, who officially has her TikTok back and a new motorcycle, head over to her channel to check it out. I'll be doing um, a video on that bike very soon. It's just, I'm already filming four videos this week, so it's probably not gonna happen until next week. Here's what we got. So a uh, huge Prime. shout out to Bren Tuning for always sending out flashes for our bikes. We massively appreciate it. Um, you can also get these not only through Bren, but you can also get them through Moto Million and you can use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. So this is it. This is the flasher. They have a couple of different flasher type things. This is the flasher plus uh, model, which is a little bit thinner and super nice. Look at that. We even have to write on there because I have four of these. At least someone's getting flashed today. Uh, so, um, Cables right here. This is to attach to your bike. Um, this one is to attach the computer and I'll show you what we're gonna do that in the future So um, thank you Tina Wiener. She's running the tractor supply. She's got animals to feed yes, back at the house yep. um, Again, if you can't get enough of this woman all of her spicy links are in the description below spicy. go show her some love Thank you for your help Tina Wieners. I'll see you at the end. Sounds good. And then real quick since nobody watched my um, car vlog, which is you're all assholes I spent a long time uh, making that video. We got the final carbon we're gonna be, actually it won't be the final carbon. We got a brand new carbon steering wheel uh, with um, Alcantara on the thick sides. Boy, it's it's thick. beautiful. Thick and smooth. Yeah, that was from ASK Carbon. Shout like out to them. them. Yeah, they, uh, they're they super nice. The last thing we're gonna be doing is replacing these with carbon, and then the whole car is gonna be completely blocked out, which makes me very happy. Peace. Shout out to Ben from West Shore Auto Center for swapping all of our summer tires onto the car, washing the whole thing, doing an oil change and filter, and installing that uh, carbon steering wheel for us. This car is so freaking dope. Oh, I love this thing. Look at that beauty. All right, let's go inside and get to work now. All right, so we're gonna put the belly pans on first, then we'll flash the bike. This is the last time you're gonna see, well actually, I, I, I guess it, that's, not, okay. It's the last time you're gonna see it without it being blued in and all that because once we do the full carbon stuff, it's gonna be all blued in. So get one good last look at the beautiful titanium pipes. And by the time we, we're planning on riding this to the Warhorse open house this Saturday. Uh, by the time I put this video up, it probably would have already happened. So that's why I'm not even gonna, well, it's Saturday, May 13th from 10 to 2 p.m. Depending on when I put this up, it's probably gonna be put up on Saturday. So, sorry. But um, if you want to keep up with where we're going to be and events we're going to, Instagram is the best place to do that. At DottoMade, at Jarrett Campisi, at Kalittal. It's always linked in the description below. Um, because YouTube isn't always, it's usually delayed by a few days by the time I edit and upload the videos. Um, but anyway, that's what, you, that's what you did. You can see the, uh, was it epoxy that you used? Yeah, it's a two-part epoxy yeah. and it works phenomenal. For it's some reason, they supplied these clips and they literally would not fit on here. So I don't, we just were like, we're not dealing with this. We broke two of them and he was like, fuck it, let's just cook up some epoxy and put it on there. And it uh, worked perfectly. So we're gonna get both of these fitted and then I'll show you, actually, we'll get this one fitted. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here's a little sneak peek, guys as he's putting the final bolts in. This is the first look at the Panigale with a full Undertail titanium Acro exhaust, almost fully assembled. So that's how it looks. It actually looks, like I said many times, a lot better than I expected. Um, I think I still prefer the looks overall of the underbelly system. And if it was my own personal bike, that's the one I would ride. Just because I'm, um, I'm scared that it might get even hotter than it already is in this area because of that because of that pipe right there, but we'll find out once we ride it. 
It does look really freaking dope, I have to admit. And it did sound, I think, better than that. It sounds the, incredible. Yeah. It, at the low tones, like when it's idling, it literally shakes everything. Yeah. The lift is shaking, like you feel it in your hey, chest. Hey, we should start this before and after the flash. You think it's gonna be different? I think it might. I hope it's just flames. <laughs> I think it will. So, he's gonna finish putting the um, bolts on this side, and then we'll go over to the other side and finish that one off. So before we started to put on the left-hand side here, Dotto was mentioning these are the size clips that they gave us. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, the size of that compared to the size of this, which is what these are, right? We needed this size here, and then they would have pressed on. Yeah, but they gave us this reason, tiny little guy. Yeah. Now, the insert, the grill insert that we can't use with this exhaust on the other side uses three of these, but instead of giving us three little guys and then three of these big retain, or six or Eight however or whatever many, it was, yeah. yeah. Um, they just give us all the small ones, and I'm sitting here trying to put them all on and <laughs> the wrong nightmare. size. So guess what? Epoxy works. Yeah. We'll see something else. Now remember, guys, on this side we have to hook up this little vent that goes right here. Yeah. So I'm gonna hook the underneath part first, put like one or two fasteners in, and then we'll hook this guy. All you have to do is kind of like, like pull it over. Also, people were asking about the oil engine oh, yeah. level. It's always because we have it not only on a stand, but also up on a rear stand. And you can see when we don't right now. It's not always level yeah, it's when it's up on the stand, so yeah. it's good to go now. Once we ran it and, and got on, on a flat surface. Everything worked go, perfectly, yeah. yeah. Cool, fit this thing on. We'll take a look at it, admire its beauty. Then we'll pop the seat off and uh, start to do the uh, Bren flash, which I'm very excited for. All right, folks, Dotto just put the last uh, little clips and bolts in on this side, and that's how the bike looks. Fully reassembled with the $10,000 Akrapovich full titanium undertail exhaust talking, system. I think I'm gonna take it out for a, a healthy rip tomorrow morning before we head to Warhorse. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. To make sure everything's, everything's good, good. a lot of stuff was apart. Apart, yeah. Just so make sure that the wheelie control isn't off anymore, you know, a <laughs> yeah. of things. So next thing we're gonna do is I just downloaded the file from uh, Bren Tunings. Well, from my web, my sign in on Bren Tunings website. They have a whole new thing that, that you do now. Next thing we're gonna do is upload that file to our flasher device. All right, so there's my tuning file. It says JC tuning. I think this might be a stage two flash. I'm Jesus not sure. Jesus Christ. Bren you'll, have to, yeah, Bren, you'll have to let me know if you're watching the video. Um, I believe it is a stage two flash. Looks like it says S2, so I believe that means stage two tuning. Okay, so we're gonna upload this to the My Genius tool. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully I'm not showing you guys anything you're not supposed to see. Let's see if it can't hack our ECU. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna load it onto here, and then um, we should be able to move it over to the bike. Okay, so it looks like it's done. It says we can upload this to our car now. So we just gotta find a Panigale V4 car, and we'll be uh, good to go. One thing I will say that's amazing about Bren Tuning is their directions are phenomenal. So we're literally just walking through them step by step. Uh, we got the bike down, Dotto pulled the seat off, and we got the flasher installed, and it literally says right there, JC Bren Tuning, Moto Bren Tuning. They want you to key on the bike, and then we literally should be able to just write the file at this point. Click OK, and we're gonna probably have to turn it on and off about 15 times. We'll go from there. Yep, we're good. I already did that. Switch on the dashboard, which we did. Check connections, click OK, yep. S starting communication, all right. All right, so it had us turn the bike on and off a couple of times, and then it said deleting, which I, I guess is removing the factory file, and now it says programming the ECU. So now we hang out and we wait, and at some point I'm sure this thing's gonna light up like a Christmas tree, and let's just hope that it all gets done properly. All right, so this process can take some time, while it's doing that, still don't have any crazy lights on there. I wanted to get your opinion. So as you guys know, I'm getting the Lamborghini Street Fighter. For whatever reason, on the configurator on Ducati's website, they do not offer the underbelly exhaust on these bikes, which is my favorite, the underbelly full Acra. Um, you can do the racing silencers, and my guess is, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's a weird bracket right there. I think that they probably changed the mounting points on some things down there. Possibly the, uh, the rear sets or the swing arm pivot or something. And the the full Acra underbelly system probably doesn't fit anymore. With the, You'd probably have to fabricate a mounting bracket or something. Um, to me, this slip-on does not look that good. I mean, it's okay, um, but the, the angles look different than the other one. It's also $4,700 for those two little pieces, which to me seems ridiculous. Mine comes with this one, which is also $6,000 
but these are street legal and they're probably not gonna sound that good. The only other option is the one that we put on this bike right here. Let's put that on the bike. Uh, you have to do this, yes, do that, confirm. Let's see. Let's see how this one looks. So there's that one. So this is the full Undertale exhaust on the Street Fighter. And I just, I don't know. It looks okay, but to me, this situation right here, I, I, I love the clean, like all like the floating wheel, nothing by the undertail, and everything stopping down here. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, Dotto. Do you see what I'm saying? I agree. You don't like that? The mufflers really take away from the tail section. On the Panigale, I think it's fine, you know. But on the Street Fighter, for some whatever reason, because they, they, you don't have all the fairings and everything right here, making it look beefy and stuff. So for me, I think I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What exhaust should I put? on my Lamborghini Street Fighter. Um, I'll show you what the Lamborghini Street Fighter actually looks like. Is there stuff happening back there, Dotto? Yeah. See, it comes with this one, which I think this actually looks really good. The one that it comes with. Let's see, there should be like a, right here. Once that loads, I'll show you. It comes with this exhaust, which I, I really like. There, that one. That actually looks really good, but I'm afraid that it's not going to sound as good as it should. Hey, check this out. So, what's up? Writing ECU completed. It's done? Done. No way. Yeah. I feel like that was the fastest it's ever been. I know, right? So now what? Oh, it has to initialize and test, make sure that everything worked properly. It's going to, I think, recheck to make sure that everything's on ECU. Sweet. Well, we'll let it do its thing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, what I should do with the exhaust for my Lamborghini Street Fighter. Um, I also have other mods that I'm gonna be doing on the bike. We're not gonna be leaving it stock. You know me, non-stock Campisi. Um, and we got parts coming for Christina's bike too, so Dado's gonna be a busy boy on top of this build as well. Okay, I think it's, I think it's done. Done. Okay, sweet. And then the final thing that Dado did is it says basically to, what, click on the work and clear any codes that are in uh, there? It just prompted me that. Yeah, so you just walk process. through it? Okay, yeah. and then after that it says to start the bike up, let it idle, and come up the temperature, and then it says, as long as everything's good, take it out for a ride, and um, there's gonna be some adaptive learning for the shifting, the fueling, and all that other stuff, um, so it does take some time. The one thing I will say, I wish, Bren Tuning, I wish you guys would add something right here to this screen that says like, Bren flash or something so that like for example when Ducati does their ECU flashes it says or like do Ducati like a racing race flag or yeah something, exactly yeah. do something so that we know that it's been flashed I think that would be super cool or even allow us to customize so it says like Jared Campisi Panigale or Lamborghini Panigale you know something like that I think would be super cool but I think it's all good to go I'm just going to go ahead and pop it into race mode and then what we'll do is we will turn this thing on and let it idle all right we got the bike off the lift pushed outside I put it in race mode. We're gonna start it up for the first time with the Acrofull system and the Bren Stage 2 Flash. Dotto, you wanna do the honors? Fire right up. Again, there's gonna be some adaptive learning, but that sounds a lot better than it did before the flash. I can tell you that right now. So they said to let it idle for 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna let it idle for a little while, come up the temperature, we're gonna check everything out, make sure everything looks good. But damn, this sounds good. And it's not stupid loud either. Like I like that sound, that's a good, a good tone, you know what I mean? For like a, you can still talk to somebody or whatever, it's not too ridiculous. There's no engine lights on. There you go guys. You can enter to win this bike, patreon.com slash customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Hmm, my God. All right, it's been warming up a little bit. Let's hear a couple blips. Oh, it shot a flame. Oh my gosh. That sounds insane. Well, everything seems to be working all right. You can smell some packing burning out at some places. But uh, I think she's all good to ride. Holy shit, guys. That sounds insane. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. All right, Tina Wiener showed up. 
I want to get her to start up the bike and I want to see her reaction. So have you already heard it? We got it flashed. Yeah. Sound Go ahead. Good? Yeah, it sounds really good. I think it actually sounds it's probably one of the best sounding painting alleys I've heard. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's pretty chill, right? Like <laughs> then give it a couple blips. Pretty raw, huh? That sounds really good. Uh-huh. It's disgusting. Very nice. Yeah, I love it. So that's it. The bike is back together. It's fully rideable. We got the full Acura exhaust, the filter, and the Bren Stage 2 Flash. And this is kind of like stage one of the bike. Um, because from here, we're going to be sending out all the carbon next week to get painted by a local painter here. All the custom Lamborghini paint scheme is going to start happening. I'm going to show as much of that process as I possibly can. Um, and then Manny's going to be shipping out a bunch of parts. Well, actually, a bunch of parts already arrived. And he's going to be shipping out a bunch more. Um, we're trying to get the Lamborghini Street Fighter wheels. Um, if we can, we will. If not, we'll probably just do a carbon wheel. But um, it's going to start start happening real fast. So shout out to this guy. Appreciate it. Looks like everything is installed correctly and ready to go. Um, we're going to be taking this to Warhorse of Camp Hill this weekend on Saturday. Uh, depending on when this video goes up, if there is still time, May 13th, Saturday, 10 to 2. And if you miss this one, we're going to be doing more. I'm going to be hanging out at uh, Ducati, New York City when my Lamborghini Street Fighter arrives. We're going to do a whole event there. And I'm sure we'll do more events at uh, Warhorse. We'll probably do the giveaway at Warhorse once this is done. So that's it. I can't wait to ride this thing this weekend. So you'll be seeing the first ride with all of these uh, modifications coming next. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ramp up pretty quick from there. So. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one.